Well, lost that game with a 10-point lead in the final two and a half minutes. Damaged their chances at a regular season title, but they are playing high level up. Drifted, didn't it? The Hawkeyes do get their stop. Peyton Sanford is fouled. A hand on his hip, but yeah, that's, that's a tough one going against the Illini. Sanford sent them too. Yeah, that's the thing, scoring without the defender. Yeah, has really scored it. It's done a lot of his damage in transition, but knocking down the jumper. Tony Perkins from that spot. Well, as expected, good offensive start. Two of the best offenses in the country. Hawkins off balance hits that. You, know, you can't get back what happens, so you've got to move on. Brown Underwood talked about Thursday's practice being an Underwood-like practice. Uh, and they finally do get a stop on Perkins in the mid range. That was not a great shot by Tony Perkins. And then no numbers, and a pass from Hawkins is out of the Senate by Ram Trucks. Hawkins pulls and knocks in another. Oh, it, it. Danger loses it to Tricky. What a block by Owen Freeman. He's one of the better rim protectors as a freshman in college basketball and what looks like should be a surefire buck. He's closing in on 1,000 in his career. He, Owen Freeman is definitely going to be the, the Big Ten freshman of the year. You just look at the, the number. I mean, I know Jared is really, really good, but that's a huge number. Barely that many weeks in the season. <laughs> exactly. There is Freeman with the tap back. Well, that's, you're getting all the way down there. Now, the contest is okay, but someone's got to pick him up. The mask, little hesitation, and McCaffrey slots that one. I was certainly not the biggest team in the league, so looking to exploit some of that size on the interior. But Dix loves the mid range. Yes, he does. Oh, man, everything but down. I was going a little bit of zone there and lost Terrence Shannon on the perimeter. Perkins head down, falling away. That is an impossible he away. He, he just creates space. Tony Perkins has made himself into a real player in this league. Well, Luke Goody from out deep for Illinois. There's Sanford and Rogers. Ooh, tap that yeah, and kept it in by Ty Rogers to keep that in play. Hawkins on fire to begin. Double double pretty much he every was. night. No, it was amazing to see the way he pursued the basketball. Perkins from range. Book that. That's just Illinois getting around, and they get totally lost right there on that possession. The mask short. There he is, flying in there. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Body and Hansberry puts up a wall. Increased minutes, increased health for Hansberry, and they reward him with two. Hansberry on the contest. gave good minutes in state college, and this is how you earn your coach's trust. And they got Garrier going now. Plenty. It's going to be a challenge because Illinois is one of the best offensive teams in, in not just the league, but in all of college basketball. Nice cut. Perkins at the rim. Yeah, that's not going to make Brad's Iowa team is a very good cutting team off the ball. Well, Brad Underwood, when we visited with him before the game. Yes, there's Garrier. Maybe seeing him waking up again today. Here's Freeman, gives it up. Ricky underneath. Beautiful, Ben Ricky. Make that passer think you might be there. That doesn't happen if Hawkins no, it, hasn't hit 3 3. Well, and, and I just, I think the scouting report as well. You know, that, that's against the Illini last year. Dix to that sweet spot. Rarely misses those. Ricky with the putback. How about the fact that, no, it was not. I'm sure the, uh, the old rebounding drills were out and about on, on Thursday. Dembele from outside. And that rolls here. You can't complete it, but ahead. And I certainly voiced my frustrations with the rule where it's like, this is where we're at. You, uh, you certainly did. <laughs> White took their biggest lead. Iowa out by three points ahead of the under four timeout. There's Dix getting to that Boy, spot in this I, first I mean, half. We, we have just seen. Doesn't blockouts go the way of Illinois, and you have to think Hansberry and Gary are both going to be looking. To I like the adjustment of, of Cricky guarding Gary A opposed to Hawkins. I know Hawkins isn't on the floor, but that, that's a guy that he can better contain. Dix way out wide. Dembele took a shot. Down to four. Step back. Dix in and out, and Hansberry there with the buck. 
but it has just been, Robbie, a, a parade to the free throw line. Oh, you're, you're just, I'm not really sure what you should do. <laughs> I guess there's... Final two minutes, so there's fast paced first half. Tricky filling the lane, scooping Boy. it up and in. How about the adjustment, though, on both sides? Both teams shooting over 50% from the field. You know, he's got nine points. You look at what he's been averaging over the last four. Three. One last heave coming likely for Iowa. McCaffrey. Oh, throws yeah. it over the top. Sanford. Oh! You can give Iowa a lead. If he makes his second. In the Big Ten since Jess settles. Back in the 90s. That little second where Tony Perkins had to wait on it just cost him. That will not make Brad Underwood happy after some of the danger. And that's where Freeman can do some damage on danger. He's got a handle and can certainly take him on the perimeter and drive him. That's uh, in use currently. Well, Nico Moretti getting it, getting his first mid. Well, the other guys on the floor have already seen the floor today. Moretti's the over there on the right side. Moretti pulled off the bench. First trip on offense. Gives it to Harmon. Nice setup. Nice little back cut game at Penn State himself, but making a play off the ball and Nico Moretti finding him. And Perkins draws the foul on Moretti. And Perkins cashes in. Hey, Big Ten Plus delivers thousands of non tough So five new align ice sitting all of their starters. And Perkins, oh boy, cashing in. Yeah, nervy pass there. Sweet to a dunk. Though. It ends here today. He's looking inside. Ball buzzing. Goody. There's still nothing from out there for Illinois in this half. There's Moretti off a little stutter. Well, threw it at the back of Dix. Got it back. And Moretti just playing a wall ball off of play Hawkeyes. By Tony Perkins. Perkins this out. What are you thinking? How long is it going to be? I, I, it'll be determined by the way that this second group plays. But you have to think if Iowa starts pulling away, we'll see. Afternoon, you know, he's playing some point alongside Perkins and the shot clock. He's played with poise and he has just been a killer with that jumper. And the danger with a nice spin. He... Well, I was still has not taking a three in the second half. Freeman in a crowd muscles his. Like, he, he's not a guy that you're looking at and you're like, man, he, he must bench press 300 body. And Freeman's going to cut that clip, come back 20 times. <laughs> And tapped out. Second group might want to stay in here for the alignment. All the starters at the table ready to check in. And Harmon wails his. Right, 15 points today for Perkins. That's what it. Harding off the ball screen. Created some space wow. and hit it. I thought he could have hit Cricky there. And Sanford was right on there lobbying for Iowa. Inside five on the shot clock. Hawkins got to go. Oh, and he's wow. held out and hit. Harding on the cross. Went to the off. Sanford falling away. And he got fouled. Past the under 12 media timeout, maybe towards the 10 minute mark. But that's Shannon's first look at a two tonight. Oh, I thought Sanford definitely drug his foot there. Wow. Buries a three. Josh Dick. Who, who's just flowing right into that three. A lot at stake in this game. You know, Illinois trying to get right after I'm sure they feel that they gave that. Pulling up those ball screens. This action away from Shannon, who's checking Dix off balance and one. Hinson, a big bucket there. The best thing to ever come out of Valparaiso. And after the tough hit for Cricky, seven point hole for the Illini. Good high low there. Man, danger. Great, great awareness. About you just have to stay ready. Well, Shannon had the offensive rebound. We have seen this. Side 10 on the shot clock for Dix. Broke wow. three of Shannon. Down Quad Cities area between Illinois and Iowa. Grew up watching Big Ten basketball. Big game today. And Moretti, some unexpected points. Do a timeout at the next dead ball here. Moretti's feeling good after that make. And he draws the foul on Tricky. Range here. 
He's had a little bit of an off afternoon. That was a great look. Shannon in the air a long time. Setting up the three. Well, that's a pro. Caffrey puts Iowa back in front and Sanford and saves it three on two for Iowa and Perkins has two at the free throw line right I thought Moret that went uncalled the money Hansberry and, and right clean defense called I mean it was it was good defense <laughs> yes We're on pace for 9-4 in this game. Shooting from the field. Hawkins bouncing. The blemish that you could really talk about for him today has been the five turnovers. So. There's Sanford off the window. There's that drop. A one or two point deficit with, with seven minutes to play on the road. You'd say sign it. Wake Forest, Villanova, Butler. Dix. Offensive rebound, Perkins. And a foul on Shannon defending from the field. So we have come to a grinding halt. Seven. Turn seven of eight for Perkins at the free throw line today. In danger to that spinner. Yeah, just like gotten whatever he wanted, but it's a lid on that thing for Dane Danger. Tricky. And that was on the. And Fran McCaffrey. Trying to manage this foul situation. Sanford and Cricky both with four fouls. The mask wide open. That was a horse shot. It can't be reviewed. And Hawkins whisks it right back. Good pass. Shannon for Harmon. Unselfish play right there by Terrence. Guys on the floor with four fouls, including Sanford. And high off window. Cricky, the other guy with four fouls, cleans that up. You know, I, I... Clock dripping. Shannon oh, slicing through. Oh, goodness. I mean, Hawkins, the top scorer for Illinois today, giving it up. Shannon. Harmon, the follow, slipped to Hawkins in the roll hall. Went out of the zone. A big possession to stay in touch, and Iowa turns it over. Hawkins up top. Still to be decided as we make our way to the end of February here. You know, they've ratcheted it up, they've contested shots, they've got turnovers, and so that's not another offensive rebound. Into Freeman for the dunk. The problem, though, is that because Shannon... Remember the big lead at Penn State. They led by 10. Illinois did with two and a half to go. Trying to avoid that today with Harmon. And a double bonus, so two no matter what for Sanders. Certainly Shannon. responded. Dealt with some adversity with the foul trouble in the first half. and Career high. And Freeman almost got there. Hawkins with the strong hands. And a quick touch. Right left, right left, right. Salsa, salsa, salsa. <laughs> yeah. Final One minute. minute Illinois trying to run away with it. There's Dix. Our, uh, our producer, Bart Fox, put it well. They would lose at Simon Set. <laughs> Harding grinding inside. Dembele. Deep two goes down. Now it's not. Adds to his career high with 30 big ones for Coleman Hawkins. And their 1,000th Big Ten win as a program. 95-85 over Iowa. For Illinois 95. 13 points for Coleman Hawkins before you could blink in this game. And he carried that to a new career high.